Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Okay. So yeah, this is happening. Um, but y'all got y'all tickets though. Hmm. Did y'all get y'all tickets though to the Motivation with Me live event on Sunday? And it's Friday. Now it's actually free Friday, so the tickets are free until 11:59 p.m. We have a virtual option and an in-person option. The code is free. Friday and the link is in the description like it has been for the past like 10 videos so and there's also been a coupon code in there that gets my subscribers $5 off <laughs> subscribe 22 it's down there so I'm not understanding wherever you are wherever you are <laughs> y'all know I just started singing um wherever you are just like get your ticket so you can see me virtual like it's still gonna be live i'm still gonna be dropping gems because y'all know i drop some gems on youtube but this is a different type of gym right here this motivation go hard so now that i got that out the way i had to this wasn't even planned this this wasn't even planned it just it, it came up on me because i checked the mail at the office and look wait backstory we're going to react. First, I'm going to show a clip from one of my old videos from five years ago. Quality, child. Quality. But as y'all know or don't know, TTM, um, I have a nonprofit called The Trouble Movement. And we mentor teen boys and girls, teens 11 to 18. We mentor them. We have an education program. We give out scholarships every year. So it's, it's been five years. And the video that I'm about to show y'all was actually made at the time we got our 501c3 five years ago. Now, I'm not going to play the whole video. I'm just going to play a little clip. Just a little clip. And then y'all can go watch the whole video. I strongly suggest you watch the whole video because, <clears throat> hey, fix it. <clears throat> fix it. Not only because it's a motivational video, but you have to really watch the video. And under to, uh, and, God damn, God. In order to understand this video, okay, so this is a testimony five years later. Hmm? That's what this is because I it's just I, beyond me how far we have come. And again, I'm gonna dive deep into it. The if you want to support the Trump movement, the information is always in the description. I'll drop the link for y'all to donate. You can see our programs. You can see more of what we do. You can visit our website. All of that. All of that. So, hold on, cause my camera too. I don't like that. I don't like that. So I'm finna play this clip real quick. Make sure I'm recording, cause y'all know what I be doing, and I am loud. And don't talk about my quality, cause this was five years ago. Growth. Okay, here we go. Whew. I'm trying to get through this whole video. And service was bad. Crying. But if I do, just know. Just... So I'm gonna try to get through this video without crying. I said I was gonna wait, but it's it's this is something that I just had to share. Just only not because of the news. And he is. Beyond words, amazing. I'm still trying to gather myself from just what I just found out and everything that has happened in the past six months, two years, even ten years. Um, what I was watching uh, my pastor preach on YouTube, which is something I do often when I'm feeling, you know, like I need the word. And he was talking about sharing your testimony and, and uh, Know, defending against the lies of the devil and I thought to myself this quote a testimony is the greatest defense in a debate about what God can do you better say that and hold up right hold up you better you better say that baby let me tell you this video gonna have to just be a little long cause um I don't like my braids in the back a testimony is the greatest defense against the debate on what God can do. That testimony 
your testimony holds the key. Okay, I've been giving my testimony for years and it has touched so many people. Everybody got a testimony. Everybody has something that they have overcome. I don't care how big or small it is. Everybody got it. Everybody got one. Every Everybody has one. Use it. Use it. That's your defense. That's your life. That's your story. That's your motivation. All of that. Let me get back into the video. Ooh, child. And I was, I was just, I kept saying that quote in my head. I was like, a testimony is the greatest defense in a debate about what God can do. Because there is no greater defense than your testimony. And so, the past, I'm trying, y'all. Quality child. And to found my own 501c3 nonprofit organization to put my life in the hands of the world so everybody can know to build something on my back by myself and not give up in the process after losing my grandmother and my grandfather. It's 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 almost impossible. I I just I I keep looking back and I'm thinking like. How? Like, well, if y'all would know, because I don't share a lot. Y'all know I write everything out. And yes, when trouble two drops, you know the details. But if I can, if you Coming in September. on the wall in this apartment, when I broke down in this living room and cried because I wanted to give up so much. I wanted to give up so bad because it was hard. It was hard, but I kept telling myself. John 16, 33. In this, this world, world you will, will have, have tribulation. tribulation. But be, be a good cheer. I have overcome, overcome the, world. the world. I had to keep telling myself that. So, you know, the last six months, right after my grandmother died, I put together a team. I went to one of my friends. I said, you know what? I okay, so I'm going to pause it right there.
baby. <laughs> when I tell, first of all, when I lost my grandmother, I lost my grandmother July 16, 2016. We became a 501c3 October 5th, 2016. And I made that video after we received the letter, but they backdated it to when we did the application. I didn't grieve. I didn't, I didn't grieve how I handle grief. I put it in work. I put it in power. I just, that's, that's my distraction. I, I, I did not grieve. My grandmother was sick for, for a while. After my grandpa died in 2015, she just, she gave up. She lost her son in 2007. That was my godfather. And Victorian Publishing, which is, what I built to honor my grandmother. Baby, when I tell you, my grandmother was everything to me. The Trouble Movement started off as a sole proprietorship, as a business. And then with that, I created the hashtag. It's a movement. It's a movement. I kept saying it. I started it before my grandpa even died. I have a picture of him with a Trouble Movement shirt on from the original logo. And they knew about it. They bragged about it. Like, my my, do my granddaughter got this book. She just came out with it. My grandma was selling books out the china closet. And anybody that walk in her house, my, gran my granddaughter got this book. It's $10. You got to buy it. You got to buy it. That's, like, literally, that was my everything. She raised me. That's why I got an old soul, because I was raised by older people. I was raised by my grandmother and my grandpa. And when I lost her, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how, I didn't even know how to grieve. And so I took that energy and I put it into the trouble movement. I said, you know what? This is a movement. Like it needs to be more. It, it needs to be a nonprofit. It needs to grow. It needs to be a 501c3. We got to help more teenagers out there. So, with that, this is why I said you have to watch the whole video. I used every penny I had. Savings gone. Lights off. Rent not paid. And people thought I was crazy. I used every dollar I had to put into the trouble movement, to build it, to keep it going. I always, you know, I've, I've said it before, I'm in debt right now. And that debt came from me paying for the trouble movement because nonprofits don't make money off the rip. It, it takes at least a good two years for the money to start coming in. Because when you're new and they see that, it's harder to get funds for us. And we African-American on top of that. I can't tell y'all how many times I've lost grants to Big Brothers, Big Sisters, the J.J. White Foundation. Like, we uh, and everybody say, well, they have one specifically for African Americans and women owned. We didn't did all that. I don't apply for all that. Grant writers, all that. Now, mind you, this was five years ago. I spent everything I had. If my baby ain't got it, it's coming out of my pocket. I went in debt for TTM and I don't regret it. I'm just going to work hard to pay it off. So when I went to check the mail today at the office, we got three checks in the mail from places that I have never even heard of. And I just couldn't believe it. I, I was I just, we've gotten grants, we've gotten donors, we've gotten sponsorships. We're about to have our sixth annual gala. I have so many different programs now that are funded specifically by other people to see my baby grow like it did to know how much hard work dedication even pain i put into this movement 
to see where it is now, there is no greater feeling. It's literally like watching your child grow up. My baby is, is working on his own. I put in work for it. My team put in work for it. I got a phenomenal team. <laughs> like, I have a phenomenal team. Y'all know Christian is my vice president. Baby, I tell everybody she run everything. I'm just him. I'm just the president and founder. I have a phenomenal team now that I didn't have back then. So I carried everything on my back. And nonprofits are not easy. They're not like businesses. It's so much that come with it. We see random people on Facebook you picking our organization for their birthday fundraiser. They don't even know us. They in completely different states. Like of all races, gen of all genders, and it just it's, it shocks me every time because I'm like, these people don't even know us. But it don't take but a matter of a search, looking at social media, looking at me and my babies. And it's like, we've gotten so many checks and I'm like, where did, <laughs> like, where did this come from? What is the, the Charities Foundations of America? I don't even know what that is. And sometimes <clears throat> I tend to forget how big the trouble movement is and how powerful it is and how much people recognize it. Because sometimes I get so busy, and I do this in life with all my accomplishments. My, my flaw, I've never taken the time to actually celebrate everything that I do. I, I don't talk about people like, well, how you got all this? You got books, you got businesses, you got a nonprofit, but you, you never brag about it. You never talk about it. I never take time to celebrate my wins because in my mind, I'm trying to get to the next goal. And I had to learn to stop doing that. I had to learn to celebrate the small wins. When I became a full-time entrepreneur for six months in July, instead of me, because I, I have since gone back to corporate, instead of me looking at it as if I failed, I looked at it as you did six months in the game, fully self-employed. Don't ask me how my bills got paid because I'm going to answer God. Because I didn't have the money. Instead of thinking I failed and having to go, I got to go back to work. This is not what I wanted. I looked at it as since you did six months. Hell, even if you did a week, a month, it don't matter. You got to celebrate the small wins. Period. So to see money coming in, support, it ain't even got to be monetary. We, we got recognition from different the constable's office in Houston. We work with Harris County Juvenile Probation Department. We work with Child Protective Services to see all these partnerships, to see all the people that support us and what we doing in the community like i i literally text christian i was like bro i really want to cry right now because i cannot believe it just like how in that video i couldn't believe that we had got that status and i actually officially made it a 501c3 nonprofit after dealing with what i dealt with when my grandmother died every time i'm just like i can't fathom it's been five years I knew we were going to get here because I'm, I manifest, I manifest my next goal. I'm going for a community center. I want all that. Give me all that. I want a house. Cause I've had kids run away before and ain't had nowhere to go. I want so much. I have actual vision boards. I got blueprints. I got everything and I know it's coming. I'm, I'm manifesting that just like I manifested getting here. And to actually sit back and see it, because it takes the small things. It takes the little things for you to realize how far you've come. Baby. And it's still not easy. 
it's not easy. Me and Christian literally had a meeting to plan this gala for four hours. We didn't hang up till one in the morning. We started at 8 p.m. It takes so much. I can't tell y'all how many breakdowns I've had. I had to step down as president before because that's how hard it is. But I never have and I never will give up on something. And I always tell people it's okay to give up temporarily, but always come back to it. It's okay to fall as long as you get back up. You got to get back up. You can't stay down there. You have to remember why you started. And that's what got me back up. I look at these kids and I look back at my life and what I went through. I don't want that for them. And if I can stop it before they get there, I'm doing it. If I can catch them while they have already made bad decisions. Again, we work with Harris County Juvenile Probation Department. My kids are on probation. They got charges. And they get sent to the trouble movement. And I have literally watched them change their lives. And I wish I had something like that when I was growing up. I wouldn't have made half the decisions I made. I would have had somebody to talk to when I experienced sexual abuse. I would have had somebody to talk to before attempting to commit suicide multiple times. That is why I put my heart and soul into this organization and to see it where it is now and to know what I came from, to know I didn't have a dime in my pocket. I had nothing but God, prayer, and the strength he gave me. I, I had to, like I said, this wasn't even planned, but when I saw, I, I just, I'm opening it like, it's right, they right here. I'm like, how, I had to pause. I'm like, these are, I don't even know these places. I don't even know these people that's picking us, giving us money. And y'all gotta, I'm not used to that. I'm just now getting used to that because I carried this organization for so long, for at least the first three years. We didn't get to where I needed us to be until 2019. It was debt after debt, credit cards, maxed out, paid them down, maxed them out again. Ain't no savings. That's going to the trouble movement. And I don't regret one part of it. Because when people was doubting me five years ago, telling me, nah, you need to pay your bills. What is this you putting into this movement? What is, what is this you starting and spending your money on? But I was adamant. I was like, I'm telling you. It's going to be big. Just wait on it. I know what I'm doing. I don't care about the money. I'm going to put everything I got into this and watch it grow. And it's them same people that look stupid right now. Because remember when you doubted me? Look at me now. I knew what I was doing back then and I know what I'm doing now. I, that is my purpose. God told me to do something and I followed his direction. I have had breakdowns that I'm just going to have to have a breakdown. It's a part of life. But I guarantee you every time I had one, I've gotten back up. I'm going to have another one. John 16, 33 is my favorite scripture because I know this world going to have tribulation. I know the devil is going to try to take me down. I know how hard I am working myself, overworking myself. I'm tired. I got too much on my plate. I know that. But I'm already prepared because I know that. I know who to go to and where to go when it comes. And I know to go beforehand. Man, I'm about to take you out. Of Let me look. Sips coffee. Somebody get the prayer cloth, cause I'm I'm. And if you really watch my videos, you know this is who I am. Yeah, I laugh, I cuss, I joke, but at the same time, I always tell people never underestimate me, cause I can do all that, but I can switch it up on you so quick. 
it's a reason why it's called elements of me. Because it's so many different aspects of me. I can people ask how how can I speak without cussing? I, because I can. I know how to. I know how to give a motivational. I've been a motivational speaker for five years. I've been giving the game and getting spreading the word for five years. Longer than that. Really? More like seven. As soon as I got out of college, it was a wrap. When I found what God wanted me to do, you couldn't tell me nothing. You could not tell me nothing and you still can't. Because I know what I'm doing. I know where my strength comes from. I know where my help comes from. I didn't get here by myself. Physically, yes. Spiritually, no. <laughs> God brought me here. God gave me a good team because he know I needed it. I would pray every night, Lord, please send me some help. Please send me some help. I can't do this by myself. I just need reliable, dependable help. I just need help. Send me people that are truly going to believe in this purpose and in this movement because I cannot do this by myself. Yes, I have God on my side, but at the end of the day, you cannot run a nonprofit by yourself. You can't even do it legally. In, in Texas, I don't know how I work where y'all at, you have to have a minimum of three board of directors. And in the beginning, because that was a legal thing, I just started pulling people out of nowhere. And I had to, I had to deal with that. I said, Lord, please, <laughs> I, I need a good team. And I picked seven people back then and I did work with, I want to say me and Sharice first. Sharice been down since day one. Let's get that. Let's make that clear. Sharice been down since day one. She was a treasurer. She run the education program. She been down since day one. I went from having seven people in the beginning to three or four now. And them three or four people work harder than seven. Yes, it's strength in numbers, but at the same time, God had to send me the right people. When I prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed, and I did not give up because, again, the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much, I did not give up. He was like, okay, I got you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that debt. You ain't got to go in debt no more. You ain't got to pull from your savings no more. I got you. I got you. I got them kids. I got that team. I got your programs. I got all that. I got this whole movement. I helped you create it, and I'm going to help you keep it going. I called you for this. I'm going to cry in the car. No, just... Y'all know I, I got to throw a joke in there somewhere. But I... Baby, God is good. And whatever it is y'all want to do, please don't give up. Please don't give up. I promise you, don't, don't give up. Just, just keep fighting because it's going to come and you're going to get to that point where you look back like I'm looking back right now and you ain't going to believe you got that far. You gonna remember all them struggles, all them tears, all them breakdowns, all that crying you was doing, the times you gave up temporarily, but baby, keep going. Do not stop. Do not stop. Do not pass and collect your $200. I can't even remember Monopoly. That's a, that's a shame. It's, it's just, um, I'm thankful. I'm grateful. I had to get that out. I'm going to upload some more videos. Like I said, that wasn't even planned. But I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm, it ain't no way. <laughs> it ain't no way I can't share this testimony. Just like I shared that one. Again, that video is still on my YouTube. I will put the link in the description. We have our sixth annual gala coming up April 9th. Tickets are now available. Hmm. They going to be in the description, too. <laughs> along with website, all that, all of that. So I love y'all. I thank y'all for listening to my testimony. I hope it helped because baby, I'm praising when I get off this camera, when I get off this camera, 
I, I'm so ready for Sunday. <laughs> I, I'm so ready for Sunday. I love y'all. And uh, TTM hashtag, the trouble movement, baby. Hashtag, it's a movement. Period. Bye.